I didn't even know I could preach. I didn't even know. Help me today to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Help me today, show me the way one day at a time. One day at a time. All I'm asking from you Help me today To do every day What I have to do Yesterday's gone Sweet Jesus And tomorrow may never be Help me today, show me the way, one day at a time. That, that's, that's basically all I can ask the Lord. It is, uh, it's hard because not only was, was Bishop my husband, he was my best friend. And for me, he wasn't just a friend, he was a confidant. And for 30 years, we are five months short of 30 years. For 30 years, more life with him than I have been alone. For 30 years, we've spent together loving each other. And he loved me loudly. He loved me openly and I loved him he was the love of my life and so this is a a prayer to God that he will just show me the way one day at a time and as we uh, lay him to rest I want to thank God for mom Thank you for standing with us, for raising him. You raised a very good man. Thank you for raising your baby. And now he became my baby. Thank you for raising him, mom. And, and thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Bishop Mark, Bishop Masinde. The two times you have ministered. It is something I will never forget. I will cherish it for the rest of my life. Today, Bishop Mark, you made me feel like Bishop was here. You made me feel like he was hugging on me and telling me, baby, go on. It's going to be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop Masinde, for reminding me that the grace of God, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Holy Spirit, that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And I want to just thank both of you generals of God in the house of God for, for just stepping in at this hour and urging me on and, and, and just encouraging me together with all the men and the women of God. I don't take it for granted at all. And I say it again, I'm going to need you, I'm going to need you to just walk with me this journey because I know it's not an easy journey. And I just want to make a promise to you baby <laughs> honey you raised me well I didn't even know I could preach I didn't even know that I had any preaching in me I didn't even know that I could preach the word of God and you saw it honey and you say to me, baby, 
you can do this. You told me I was called to the woman. And you saw it and called it out. And I have been doing that with you urging me on and showing me how possible it is. And look what the Lord has done. And I just... I just And I just want to tell you, honey, that we will make you proud. That he who began a good work in us, he is faithful to complete it. And we will make you proud. As JCC, and I want, if you're a child of Bishop Alan Kuna. Today, I want you to just rise up on your feet and just, just tell him, yes, Bishop, we will. We will make you proud. If you're a child of JCC, just rise up wherever you are. And I want us to raise up a hallelujah, a shout of praise. One, two, three. Give a shout of praise and let him know we will make you proud. We will make you proud. We will make you proud, honey. Give it up for Mitriak our new bishop, our mom in the JCC family. And just as we loved you while our bishop was around, we will love you even much more. We will support you even much more. Put your hands together for our precious mom. And thank you, prophet of God, for standing with our mom in Jesus' name. Very important instructions as we move on without any further ado. We will be having sons, minister sons of our bishop help us carry the casket to the resting place. As they get into position, I'd like to appreciate especially the co-workers of Jubilee Christian Church for the tireless work you have done giving our Father this dignified send-off. Thank you from the people who've been cooking the food, setting up the tent, meeting in the committees, ushering us. God bless every co-worker in JCC family. And for every man and woman of God that came to commiserate with our matriarch, God bless you. We celebrate you. We noticed your love for our mom and for her family. And even for the government leadership, thank you so much, Your Excellency, for coming to support us and to stand with us. We love you and we are praying for you in Jesus' name. Amen. So as they get into position, these are the instructions. The first three rows are going to stand up. The first three rows are going to stand up to join the procession to the burial site. The first three rows. That is the men of God on that side. The first three rows and the government representatives and the pastors, sons and daughters of our bishop. They're going to stand up and we will follow the procession as uh, the man of God, Bishop Mark Karaoke, leads us to the final uh, part of of this journey as we go to the graveside. So we are all going uh, to stand up. The three rows, the rest of us are going to remain seated kindly. We will be served food whilst we are seated. We have a limited space area uh, uh, at the graveside and, and it's, uh, it's going to be uh, a session uh, especially for the family and the ministers. So let us kindly uh, have that in mind and thank you so much. In Jesus' name. Thank you for understanding. Tell your neighbor for me, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. As they play music for us, the rest of us will kindly remain seated. And the men of God and the government representatives uh, will, will, will follow to the, uh, to the graveside. Gentlemen, we are waiting for you, my father's sons. Thank you for your good work. Thank you for your good work. Thank you for your good work. Please let's be orderly. The rest of us are remaining seated kindly. Worship team, you want to sing something? Thank you. The worship team are coming on stage.
There is a link for everyone to watch from where you're seated, kindly. There is a link for... You will watch from the screen as you're seated. Kindly, we just say the first three rows. 